So people in the class want to know how to um, enroll yourself into a workshop if you are a registered user. So I thought I'd do an example which would have a lot of analogies, show you the kind of thing. So what I've created is an application here where it's a newsletters application. So um, there's I've created three different newsletters weekly monthly yearly and I'd like to subscribe to various ones of those I'm logged in as this person so if I click the subscribe button it adds it to my current subscription see all of these ones I've done before so I guess you could probably see analogies with what we're trying to do at the moment so let's walk through what we have to do to make that work so the first thing was um, to do the actual subscription, there was a link, right? So in order to make that link work, we need to be able to add our own roots. So you need to put this line here, this one highlighted nicely, into your root config.cs. So once you've done that, you can do custom roots. Now let's have a look at the models that I've created, start at the beginning. So I've got my newsletter, which is what you'd expect. It's just a newsletter, just an ID, primary key, and a name of the newsletter, which is that weekly, monthly, yearly. And I've got this uh, link to the subscriptions. So one newsletter, many people can subscribe to it. Then in the subscription model, I've got my subscription ID, which is the primary key. And then I've got two other keys, which are foreign keys. The newsletter ID, we kind of, yeah, that's fair enough. We, we know about doing those. That's exactly like we've done before. But then we've got the application user who is the currently logged in person. So that, that's the object of the, with all of the stuff, like ID and name and so on. Now, unfortunately, that person or that object has just got ID instead of being application user ID, which is why I've had to put this key here to specify that subscription ID is the primary key. Otherwise, annoyingly, it uh, assumes that what you've put as ID is going to be the primary key for this, which it is not, of course. So that's very frustrating. Anyways, so that's set up our links for the application user and the newsletter. Then what else what's next so i've got a view for the newsletter so that was this index page so there's some stuff happening in here so firstly if the person if you've registered and you're logged in it adds in this root link which has the word subscribe and links to this action subscription thing which is going to it's uh, something in the controller that is going to action a subscription and what it's going to pass to that is the id of the newsletter so the idea is you click on that link for that particular say yearly newsletter and the id of the yearly newsletter gets passed to um, this uh, function defined by this root here so we might come back to this but let's just go and look at where this is sending us so in the subscription controller that's not a controller that's a model controller a whole new thing has been added this is the new section there's nothing else in here apart from obviously all the other create and all the rest of it so this is where the the root is defined as being where we're coming to. So the name is action subscription. So that was matched up. Can we just go back to this index.cshtml was it? I can't remember where it was. Uh, no, it was, yeah, it was, it was. Um, but not this index, it was this index. Here we are. Yeah, so this was the name action subscription. So that matches up with this action subscription here. And this uh, bit here is telling it what is being passed, which is the newsletter ID. So that's this int newsletter ID is coming into this function here. Then I get the ID of the currently logged in user, which is user.identity. And 
this stuff is pretty much the same as you see in the create um, action result anyway, action create. But we're making a new subscription and then giving it the values of um, the user ID. This is the currently logged in user and the user letter ID that we've got as well. And then this just basically does it just updates the database and sends us back to the index of this um, current controller and we see the, um, the view for the index. And is that it? Is that everything? Uh, I did say I was going to come back to the view. I think we that's pretty much everything happens then. Um, so I did say I'd come back to here and just show you this. So if the user is identified is authenticated then these things appear and uh, in theory if the user is in the role admin the edits and deletes I'm not sure that's quite working yet but we'll fiddle around with that later that's easy and then uh, there was one last thing I wanted to look at was the view for the subscription index this has got in it the things that I wanted to display and it's also got we're gonna to have to look at the control as well for this um, so it's picking up the correct so obviously we've got the heading for the newsletter name and the username so this is how it's picking up the newsletter name and the user name from the um, from the model um and also adding the links in but the thing that we wanted to look at was the subscription controller for that index that's not the controller love finding my way around visual mbc uh action result index this line here has got this included on the end and this basically says um for the subscriptions that we're looking at um, for it, that particular newsletter only look for the ones where the subscription ID matches the ID of the currently logged in user this is the currently logged in user so that will say show me my subscriptions as the currently logged in user it won't show me every other person's subscription that has logged in all right so you might need to watch that once or twice just to kind of follow through how all of that links together. Certainly um, it's uh, reasonably complex. Give it a go, see how you go.